Hello friends, welcome to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another interview question which is asked in Virtusa for ETL tester position. So let's get into the questions. So the question is, what are the differences between count of star, count one and count of column name? So let's get into answer. So count of star, what it does, right? It is going, going ahead and it is going to read all the columns irrespective of null or non-null values it is going to give the count count of one for for performance optimization we are going to use the count of one it is going to give you the performance wise it is always gives the better performance instead of reading all the thing what it does it is internally it is going ahead and it is going to count it count the record only it is not going to worry about the null value or non-null value so it is going to count the number of rows and count of column what it does it is going ahead and it is going to give you the non-null value let's get into the practical first so here here let's take the let's take the i have already taken in employee id it is a primary key manager id is having null value let me show you sample so i don't want to waste time so here you can see manager id is having single null value and here employee id is a primary key primary key never contain any duplicate or null value so let's go ahead and count it so if you do individual column what is happening? See, count of manager ID is because null value is there. That is the reason you see 106 records. And because count employee ID is a primary key, so overall records are 107. So it is proven that count of column name, it is not going to count any null values other than non-null values. It is going to, it is going to count and it, it is going to give you the overall count of that particular column. Second thing, okay. So let's go with the count of star. Count of star is going to give you the performance is bad. Let's go ahead and show, see that. Okay. It took for 810 milliseconds. And at the same time, if you can go ahead and execute the count of one, let's see how much time it will take. So it is taking off of the time, which means for performance optimization, we are going ahead and we are using the count of one. Count of star, it, irrespective of the null value or non-value, non-null value, it is going ahead and it is going to print that particular count. Okay. So count of one for better performance perspective, we are going to use. There is no difference. There is no difference, much difference. Just it is going to be performance wise, we are going to use the count of one. That's it. So this is the first question all, already covered. Now let's get into the second question. Get me the number of ovals in your name. Let me take my name here. Okay. Let me take my name here. Let's take the Ravindra Reddy. Okay. So now what I have to do, what I have wanted to understand here. Okay. How many ovals are there? What do you mean by oval? A E A E I O U. A E I O U. If anything, this particular things, then we'll consider as a oval. In this particular case, Okay, Ravindra, how many times A is present? One, two. Two is the two times A is present. And then what is that? A, E. A, E, A, E, E is once, E once present. Okay, let's take one. Okay, and then I. I is present once. Okay, let's take one. Okay, O, U. O, U is not there in my name. So overall, how many ovals are there? Four ovals. How can we solve this particular thing? So we do have a functionality just we can if we can replace okay simply regex regular expression okay replace function is there what we have to do try to understand here it is the already string is present string is present just if we can replace these strings okay with okay other than null other than these values other than a e i o u if you can replace remaining things as a empty string then our solution going to be work first let's go with the let's go with the solution select select reg regular expression okay then regular expression replace replace then what we have to do we have to give the we have to give the input string nothing but a ravindra ready here and then what we have to do we have to pass the we have to pass the expression we have to pass that expression how we can pass that expression just we have to go ahead and we have to use that expression. So how we can do that? Simply, simply, okay, we, if we can go with this particular thing, right? Here, what you have to do, you have to use this particular start symbol, A-E-I, 
A E I O U. A E I O U. Okay, then what you have to do? You have to pass this. You have to pass this. You have to pass this and then you have to give it like this. You have to give it like this. If you do this, okay, what it what it represents, okay, other than this value, remaining things, you can make it as a empty string. Make it as a empty string. Now, simply we can take it away from dual table. Dual table. Now let's execute. Let's let's execute. Now you can see how many times a e a i a e. So now you have this. Okay, remaining characters are placed as a empty string. Now what you can do? Simply you can apply in the length function. Length function. What it does? Length. Length. It is going to give you the number of characters which is present. Number of characters which is present. That's it. Four came. Okay. This is the way you have to answer. Okay, regular expression, it takes the parameter as a re regular expression so that you can take this and other than this, it, you have to keep it as a empty so that you can get the length of it using, say, see, to summarize it, two functions. One, error, one is regular expression replace function, another is length function. So that regular expression to summarize it, this function going to replace, replace other than a e i o u remaining characters it is going to replace with empty string empty string okay and length it is going to calculate okay because remaining is left nothing but a ovals it is going to calculate length of ovals how many ovals are present that's it guys thank you please subscribe the channel if you like the content thank you